Hello, and welcome to Riptide Hosting's video lessons. This lesson covers accessing your server via its DRAC card. Specifically, this is for a DRAC 5 card found on the Dell 1950 servers. You would access the server via a DRAC card as you would remote desktop, except that, let's say you're going to change the IP address, the public facing IP address, you would not want to log in with remote desktop. Instead, you'd log in with your DRAC card. Or if you're having a problem with your server where you cannot access it via a remote desktop, you can always log in with a DRAC card to see what state the server's in regardless of the state of the OS. To get started, you'll enter the IP address of your DRAC card and hit enter. At that point, you will see this screen or a screen similar in a different browser that says there's a problem with the security certificate. That's because there's not HTTPS set up on the server or set up for the IP for the DRAC card. You can click OK and continue. At this point, you can input the username and password that we gave you for your direct card. As you can see at the top, it says Remote Access Controller 5. If you're logging in and you see Remote Access Controller 4, please select our other video lesson to see how to access the server. So once you're into the direct card, a couple of the very handy options are Power Management, which you'd use to remotely reboot the server, and Console. So at first, we'd recommend that you console into the server to see if it's in a good state. If at that point it's locked up and you can't do anything, you'd come over to Power Management, select it. You can see the current status. If you're getting a response from the server and still nothing in the console, maybe it's powered off. At this point, you can power on the server if it was off, power off the server, reset the system, or power cycle the system. You'd simply click Apply, click OK. That will power cycle the server and give it a chance to boot again. Your other option, once again, is consoling into the server. So this gives you access to the server regardless of the state of the OS. You can actually watch the server boot through BIOS and see the different settings in there. Click Connect. You're going to get a pop-up window. And your first time, you might have to install a Java applet if it's not already installed on your server. To get to, now that the screen's loaded, a little shortcut menu, if you move your mouse right in this area in the middle of the screen there at the pink bar, you'll see macros. That's the easy way to click Control Alt Delete to log in. So at this point, you can type in your username and password, click OK, and you're accessing the server as if you were, as if you were physically plugged in to the server there at the location. This is a great way to change network settings. Because remote desktop, many times if you change the setting that you're using once again, it will boot you out. If you have any other questions or suggestions, please give us a call at 888-282-1883 or email us at support at Thanks.